What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video and in today's video guys, we're going to be doing the ultimate PvE tier list for August 2022 on Grand Cross, man. I wanted to do this video guys because a lot of people, a lot of new people coming into Grand Cross and they don't really know which characters are good in PvE content and so in this video guys, I wanted to go over the best characters for uh, PvE content specifically. Um, you know, we're also going to be just putting every single SSR in the game, by the way. No SR units, no R units. Um, there probably are some options for those types of characters, but I'm not, I'm not gonna, because I made, I literally made this list myself. I, I literally, uh, collected every single character. Um, that's an SSR. Uh, it took a minute to do, by the way, so, uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, these are the tiers, guys. So, S tier, universal in all types of PvE content. A tier universal in most PvE content or is made for the demonic beast battles. B tier is niche uh, use in most content uh, uh, or is made for one specific content. C tier is power corrupt in most content and has niche use. And then for D tier, it's going to be not viable in PvE content. So yeah, um, this tier list, guys, is going to be uh, fairly long. I'll try and, you know, uh, be brief with most of the characters. Um, but, you know, we'll see how, how it lasts, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we'll kind of talk about it. So um let's hop in man let's hop into the tier list no more no more time to waste first character on the list summer dn so summer dn if you guys don't know is made for uh you know um basically uh, they're not demonic beast battles but it's just like the boss battles or whatever like the uh death matches that's what it's called um so yeah she is actually universally used uh for any death match content as long as there's different race characters so that in itself is actually really good um i would say though that it's probably a tier or uh b tier because she's not u universal in most content she has a niche use she's only really good in those uh you know things again guys not to say these characters are bad by the way when it, wherever i put them in the list that's just like you know their usage in the game basically that's how, that's how much use you're gonna get out of them basically so you know what i'm saying so that, that's basically how it's gonna go so uh dn here uh she's probably just uh i don't even know man probably c tier like she is very power crept at this point um very you know old at this point there's a lot of characters that can replace honestly i might just put her in not viable because i honestly don't see a, like a use for this dn i'm trying to think like what could be good training dungeon maybe bro but like other than that not much use for for this dn i will say she kind of has fallen off she's more of like a you know at the time when she originally released a pvp type character but you know time is uh you know passed and she's kind of fallen off king is okay for uh you know most content um you know he's not the greatest in the world you can sub him in as an uh as a bootleg zaneri in uh belmo so that's good for the cleanse cleanse is very nice in uh you know pv content as well so that could be good petrify can uh work on some story stages so you know it, it, he has some use you know what i'm saying so we'll give him the c tier at the very least all right so um yeah uh merlin here um the thing is with alt rush in like pve content most of it you really don't need to alt rush in pve content i don't think um i've seen much of a use for merlin in pve content all rushing i'm trying to think like what what time would i really really be all rushing in pve um probably just like a demon right so it's, it's not anything too crazy i think she is the only one that can provide alt rush for the backline though so maybe in like a gray demon or something like this is like you know it's very hard to say i'd probably put her in power crept in most content because you're really not going to use her as a backline um but yeah moving on uh you know bond right here only really good in uh you know like story basically if the character is good in story guys and that's it then i'm giving them d tier okay because that just means they're just not viable man um okay C tier for Red Eskinor because he's actually okay on OG Demon and Crimson Demon. He has been power crept in both of those contents, but he's okay. Okay, uh, Red Gulther, um, I would say he is A tier. Actually, he might go in S tier. It really uh, depends on how much you value, uh, you know, Red Gulther compared to Green Gulther in PVE content. I think Red Gulther is universally used in most PVE content. Um, if he is, you know, in a demon, you're bringing Red Gulther because uh, he provides rank up for the for the team. He also has a tax which can work in some, uh, you know, story stages. I think the attack up as well was really good back in the day. Um, so you know, uh, that that's actually a really good. Uh, I think A tier is a good spot for uh, Gulther right there. Uh, Red Demon Meliodas is was the main unit for Crimson Demon. Has been power crap since. Uh, Brunhild will go in the universal tier or is made for demonic beast battle units um, Because she's not just made for demonic beast battle. She actually is universal like her passive literally states she's universal. So uh, that's pretty good, man 
um, usable for like most content in the game that's PvE. Um, Mono here, uh, if I'm recalling like what Mono does, she's good in Belmos. Like she has a niche use in Belmos Demon and is actually fairly good in it. Um, and she definitely is better than all these units down here, so I would give her the niche uh, use. Right, I think she's not on the same level as Summer Deanne, by the way. Like, I wouldn't, um, like, I'm not ranking these characters in the same tier, but I will give you guys my opinion if they are in the same tier. Like, I don't think, uh, Mono is as, uh, important as Summer Deanne, but she's okay in, like, Belmos, and I, I don't think she can really be used in, uh, um, what's it called? In Grade Demon, because she can't hit range. Um, but yeah, she's okay. Uh, Derriere, I will say, is niche. Uh, you know, she has Guild Boss still. She's really good for Guild Boss. Um, other than that, you know, I mean, Crimson Demon maybe, but we're gonna come up with a few units that are really good for Crimson Demon, like Summer Dan is already a good one for it, um, but yeah, Red Derriere, probably B tier, um, my, yeah, I don't know, man, like, it's, it really is just, like, she doesn't have a place in PvE content, I think C tier is probably where she'd go, like, she's, you know, there's better options than her if you are using her for a specific type of thing, um, I don't really think she has too much of a viability, so we'll probably just give her the C tier there. Um, Denzel, I will give B tier actually, because he has niche use in the Tower Trials. If you use Denzel and you do that like counter skill, you can actually uh, cheese a few of the, the stages with Denzel, which I think is really, really good, because he's actually good for some of the Tower stages because of that. So I think we will give uh, Denzel the B tier. Um, Derriere, uh very niche man like you're really not going to be using this derriere often she has probably like one use and that's maybe as a taunt unit on uh bird but that's probably it man i wouldn't give her past that i think she's only really good uh for that so uh yeah kind of just uh, uh unfortunately like she's a newer unit too like fairly newer um but she is a c tier unfortunately uh kusak i will give the b tier because he has one use which is in the bird other than the bird uh you know i haven't really experimented much with him you probably would work well in the deer as well um you know in uh school and hottie he's not good or anything like that any other content really he, he's not made for pve he doesn't have a pve passive it's just he works well on on you know on the bird because he has power strike on his ultimate and gauge reduction on the kit so that's like okay right i think that's uh fairly good so uh we'll give him that um red zelders i would say is also um probably b tier as well because you can use him uh in you know um you can use him in the demon still like if you do like crimson or uh you know um, what, what's the other demon again? Uh, original demon. And you can also use uh, Zeldris actually on the deer team with Esterosa. So, you know, there's that viability. I think uh, Zeldris as a red unit on the deer as well is a very viable option. Um, because he does have the double, uh, you know, single target skills there. One being gauge reduction. So that is actually very useful, right? So that it is a very useful, uh, you know, thing to have right there. Um, Death Pierce as a backline character, like not on the front. I think he actually is universally used for most PvE content. You can stop him in the back on a lot of things in the game, and he'll give you a benefit. So all he's really doing is just lowering the crit chance or uh, crit resistance and crit defense. So I think because of that, I would give him the higher tier because you kind of just slap him in the back on all teams, guys. Like if you're just farming, if you're do you know if you're doing a death match, like whatever the case, like you're just gonna slap Death Pierce in the back, and he's gonna help, right? He's a good backline. I think uh, PvE backline units will probably go in like the A tier because um, they definitely have a use. Um, but like you know if we're real if we're talking about just his like attacking skills he would probably be in the not viable tier but because he you know is able to provide that lowering of the crit resistance crit defense like that's really really strong um mod speed's probably just not viable in pve content i don't see like a use you'd use him in really like maybe like a keo team for pve but like bro that's reaching you know uh blue gulter probably not either i don't see a use for him really he has a backline support with like if you get debuffs and you can cleanse them you heal um but it's not like anything too crazy man uh blue mono has a niche use in pve content she's good in the deer i've actually tested her out she is good in uh final boss asking her whenever that reruns any like red boss and like you know she's blue and you have like the you know the detonate passive that she has like she does a lot of damage um Deldry will probably go in the d tier right there jim is d tier as well because he's made for pvp uh festival king yeah i don't know man it's so sad but i think like he is definitely uh it's either one of these two um he definitely got power corrupt because he's not uh the best for super awakening coin anymore um so probably c tier because the red liz exists um and unfortunately uh you know if the red list didn't exist i think king would be in b tier because he has the super awakening coin stage but red list made it so that you don't need this king uh so unfortunately he goes into c tier power crept 
uh margaret i would say is universal for most pve content you know having the buff cleanse you rank her up guild boss she's really good um you know you can use her in red demon i guess uh she's usable in a uh, bird uh she's usable in a school and hotties floor one alone um you know you can use her in the deer i think I, i've seen uh, deer teams as well like there there is some use for margaret i think she is uh universal for most content as well just because that buff uh you know the buff cleanse is really good so i would give uh you know um what's it called the margaret the a tier right there summer merlin i'm trying to think like which uh pve content would you really use her in anyway um you know what i will okay benefit of the doubt she's not universal in most pve content she has a niche um and that niche is going to be the upcoming um what's that what's it called underground labyrinth um so i tested it out on jp um and she is so good for that man she actually has an issue she's really good on that specifically that specific content other than that i feel like she's okay in other pv content i mean you know guaranteed attack seal on enemies is really good dissolve is really good she has a lot going for her kit but she's mainly a pvp type character but i will give her the niche use because i was struggling yesterday with the underground labyrinth and i think she's actually good on that so uh fair play matrona is probably b tier just because of her backline um you guys don't know matrona actually does increase basic stats of giants and pve content but i think it's like 20 percent 25 or 20 percent um so she's actually really good because of that in a guild boss um you know that one guild boss where you have to use like the giant allies um she's okay and then her holy relic also gives another you know uh, increase to that as well which actually does benefit for the pve side so that's pretty good um but yeah and then moving on uh gallant here bro like you could reach and say he's good in red demon but bro like you have to just be like you know a good blue unit already to just be good in red demon you know what i mean and you're already being power crept instantly if you're uh you know not as good so unfortunately sora i'm sorry gallon has to go in the not viable pv tier like i'm trying to think like what content would i use gallon pv i don't think i've used blue gallon in pv maybe training dungeon if you're reaching bro but that's like literally it i would like if you're using him probably destroy man Okay, blue uh, Asterosa, I would say is a uh, niche uh, for most content. He's good in the deer. He's really good in the deer. In the bird, he's okay. Um, you know, obviously Red Demon who would slap that up. Um, any other like types of PVE content, I think he'd be usable in. I mean, every other PVE content that he would you'd use him in, he'd be okay in. You know what I mean? Like he's okay. Um, he definitely is really strong on the deer though. So that that's a benefit of the doubt. But I think he's actually good on the deer. Um, okay, Brawler Bond, power crab, but actually has a use this guy is actually used on the bird if you do not have um uh like you know a lot of the good characters for it like if you bring like valenti bond here bond doesn't get attacked he lowers the 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 birds like attack related i think you can use this on school and hottie floor one as well so you know he does have you know some type of use but he is power crap in the sense that he's not as good uh in that content compared to other characters okay so moving on we have valenti here she's niche um she has the one use of being good for uh what's that final boss it's the uh I can't think off the top of my head. Um, I lost my... Uh, bro, I, I don't know exactly what final boss, but if you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, she was literally released for a final boss. I'm trying to think, bro. I can't remember. Um, I don't think... It wasn't Merlin. It wasn't... Um, I can't think now, man. I actually just don't know. Uh, I go there. I can't tell if the... I can't remember, bro, but she was good on that. Like, at the very least. She had that, okay? She, she was good in that um if anything should probably be in power crept because like there's better units for that final boss from what i remember so we'll probably just put her in power crept or in uh b tier it's, it's interchangeable but probably i'll put her in power crept for now uh guilt thunder is not viable in pve content uh elaine definitely power crept like there's a lot better units you could use in pve content um she's not you know she's not she's not really meant for it. she's mainly a pvp character i'd say uh, but i mean her you know i use her in in training dungeon uh she has like one of my attacking teams for uh fighting myself and you know she definitely increases the damage on my fast king or my on my red king um but that's about it uh arthur here he does have i think this arthur does have uh it's not a, is it an aoe attack or is it uh he has stun yeah no he got power crept uh blue jericho uh niche use um actually okay um as a backline giving you crit chance for you know any pv content basically um i also have tried her out in the deer she's okay you know she's not the greatest i think blue mono is probably better so probably in power crept actually uh now that i think about it uh power crept unfortunately uh blue elaine uh she has a niche use uh for being a red demon buffer and that's about it so probably uh, power crept because margaret's better 
Uh, Beatrice, not viable in PvP. I mean, no, she... Okay. Niche, okay, reaching. Very reaching with this. But Guild Boss. And that's about it. I, I remember when she initially came out, uh, Guild Boss with her was actually good. She was actually good in Guild Boss. Um, Eleven, not viable. Uh, Elizabeth Hawk, uh, you know, power crept. Easton is the only uh, character other than Hellbrim that has the attack related buff, so that's a niche use. Uh, Merlin, definitely power crept. She actually, uh, bro, I'm trying to think, like, she had, like, I swear she was usable on something, man. No, she's just not viable. Uh, the one Escanor, universal for most PvE content. You could use him in basically anything and he'll get the job done. Red Demon, Demonic Beast Battle. You know, there's a lot of content in the game. He was able to actually beat School and Hadi, uh three three floors. You just have to bring the correct team, but he's able to do it. Um, you know, he's able to beat Bird. He's able to beat Deer. All the Demonic BC covers them. Um, you know, the, having the debuff immunity, all that really, really good. Uh, Power Crept, uh, Slater, he's good in uh, Red Demon, but he's fallen off, obviously. Elat, um, very niche guild boss because she's only good in that, um, but she is the best in that. So I will give her the B tier because of that. Uh, Miguelda is in the A tier because she's a Demonic Beast Battle unit. Um, not ranked in tiers, by the way, guys. Uh, but yeah. And then uh, Tarmiel, Universal as a Link. Um, I would say as a Link, he's Universal. On field, he's okay. Um, uh, you know, Guild Boss, whenever you do bring like a full Goddess team, he's really strong on that. Um, but any other time, you're just going to slap him as a Link. So I, I do take into account Links and backline passives. Like, I think that's important. So we will give the uh, blue Tarmiel a universal tier. Uh, blue Zeldris, not viable in PvE content. He just bad misses crits. Uh, Amelia, power crept, but is, uh, you know, is viable. You can use her in the guild boss that is the unknown race. But other than that, uh, not much uses. Uh, mainly a PvP character when she was usable. Uh, blue Droll, definitely... Oh, I'm definitely reaching with this, bro. Power crept, but has a use with Holy Relic on the bird to, as a taunt unit. That's about it. That's like, uh, like it's the same situation as Blue Derriere. Like, as a taunt unit for the bird, like, that's about all I can give them. And then also, I guess, like, you know, um, like, I don't even know, bro. Pa Petrify, I guess, with the drill is nice, I guess, if you can use it. Um, but that's, you know, it's not the, too crazy. Uh, Fraudrin here, I will give the uh, niche use. Um, and also made for one specific content and that's gonna be tower trials He's really good on that as a you know, uh, buffing the team type uh, character. He dies they get the buffs and uh, They're really good. So not too bad. Um, I forgot if uh, Ragnarok uh, or not Ragnarok Melly. I'm gonna search this up right now actually I don't know if Melly's is just general backline or if it's PvE only Let me see Meliodas uh, Okay, so a little okay, so the, okay, it's universal. I will give it um, it is a worse backline than most characters uh, that have good backlines, so probably just like specifically made for one content or niche. But like he's a Meliodas, so that does also take his value away because a lot of the Meliodas in the game are really good. So probably C tier, man. Unfortunately, uh, Mikasa, uh, not viable. I don't think. Maybe if you're reaching like C tier, but probably just not viable. Um, again, guys, the Meliodas. Like if you want to put him in B, you can. He's a backline. I'll just give him C, bro. Halbrim, I don't think he's viable. He has, like, freeze on his all AoE, but, like, you're not, you know, who are you going to use that on, bro? Uh, Demon Meliodas, farming, sure, but he has been power crept, so I will give him that at the very least. Same situation as Fraudrum with Elizabeth. Uh, Purgatory, Bond. <sighs> yeah! Either of these two, he's actually really good on a lot of PvE content. You know, Guild Boss, he's really good. Farming, he's really good. Um, school, like, no, I, I think on, uh, Bird, he actually had a team he was able to use, like, because he gave the HP buff. Um, so probably, bro, I'll give him the beats here. Like, I gotta think about it really, you know, uh, thinking about these characters at the top. Like, I don't think Purgatory Bond is used more than these characters at the top. Um, Nunchuck Bond, I don't think has a use, like, Red Demon maybe. Uh, you know, he's Power Crept, so, I mean, I guess since he was the Red Demon unit, Power Crept. Zeldris is not a PvE character, so no, like, you know, effect for PvE is, uh, not good. Uh, Jenna, I'm trying to think, like, is Jenna even, like, what, I, okay, okay, to be fair, she does have a niche use in being the, uh, you know, the character that gives you the drops on Red Demon as a backline, so fair, okay. You know what, we will give her that, so you actually do use her technically. Uh, Goddess Elizabeth... She has been power crept in the content she's used in, um, and that is Tower Trials, because other than that, she's not really good. Um, either here or here, obviously, but you guys could, like, you know, pick yourself. I would say C tier, probably. Uh, Roxy. I don't know if Roxy's PvP. Let me see. Is Roxy PvP? 
Let me see. Uh, excludes deathmatch, so it's everything other than deathmatch. She gets the evasion. I don't think you would really use her in PvP though, or in PvE. I really don't think so. Like maybe I'm trying to think like what I would I even use her in? Probably not. Like you're just reaching, I guess, bro. If you're gonna put her in like C tier, um, I don't know, man. I'm I'm trying to think. Just I, I don't I don't think she has a use. Maybe C tier for Devo. I don't know though. Um, blue fat king. D tier, not viable. Ludo's a PvP unit, not viable. Belion sucks, not viable. King, he's good, man. He's good, bro. He's kind of the same situation as Purgatory Bun, where he's really good in farming, he's really good in guild boss, and past that, you know, I don't really see much use for him. Um, I do use him in guild... I mean, okay, you know what? Okay, I have to give him actually A tier, because he was good on Bird, he actually is okay on Deer, and he actually has a viable team for school and Hottie Floor 1. So, for that... You know, that's, that's, I gotta give him the benefit of the doubt, man. That's a lot of content he's good in. Um, he is good in Demonic Beast, uh, all three of them. So, you know, fair play. We will give him that. Chandler, um, I don't know, man. Block effect is like the only thing I'd give him because his passive is useless. His counter is okay. Probably just niche use. Um, I guess. Nanashi's backline is okay as well. It's the same situation as Blue Melly. I'll put him where I put Blue Melly because they both, you know, are doing the same thing where it's like, you know, you have to have two cards in hand of that character, but then you get the buff. So it's like, it's okay. Um, but it obviously depends on like where you're going to use that character. Milam is going to be in the niche tier. So she actually has one use and that is the deer. She's okay on the bird. Um, I don't think she'd be good in Skull and Hottie, but she actually is very good as a blue character on the deer. Very good option if you have Millum and you have her outfits, or even if you just make her like an attack, uh, attack crit set. She's actually a really good character for the Demonic Beast Battle Deer. Um, so if you do don't, if you don't have like the one Asmar build, you definitely can use uh, Millum. Um, uh, Ragnarok, Lassie, Meliodas. He's probably just like I don't even know, bro. Like he's just probably just D tier, bro. I don't know, man. Uh, how much units do we got? Oh my gosh, we still have a lot of units, bro. Uh, Malasula, not viable. Lelia very niche you know what i'm saying like it's probably just here in c tier uh blue hauser detonate passive i guess but is that like okay let me just search it up is it pvp or pve hauser let me see okay it's just in general sure we'll give him the we'll give him the c tier uh hendrickson no halbrim no i actually have not seen a use for him lilia if you're reaching uh but other than that probably not trader meliotis the most universal unit in the entire game. Usable in all content in the game. Deer, bird, school and hottie, farming. He's used in like literally anything you can think of, bro. He's the best character for it, right? He gets the job done, okay? That's that's what counts. Uh, Lilia, no. Uh, Oslo and Hog, no. Garod, four. Okay, there was like a one bird team. She was really good in at the beginning. After that, she's kind of fallen off. You know, you could you could give her the benefit of the doubt. Like, you know, she is power crept, so I will give her the C tier. Meliodas power crept. Um, Jericho power crept because she was really good in, in you know, uh, in Belmos, but she did fall off, I would say, in Belmos. And she also had, like, uh, you know, Great Demon nuking. Green Asnor has fallen off. Green Demon Meliodas is niche. She has the uh, the spawn demons thing. So where did I put the spawn demon characters? Yeah. So, yeah, in the same, same situation as Jericho. Um, I guess Jenna then I would put down too. Did I put another character like that up here? No. Yeah, okay. So that, that's fair, I guess. A green Zeldris is in the niche uh, or made for one specific content. He's a really good backline. If you can debuff the enemy, he's good. Uh, other than that, not too crazy. Uh, this Bond, nope. Uh, Tank Dian, niche. Very good for uh, Bird as a taunt unit. Um, but uh, other than that, you know, you if you have Matrona, you use Matrona. Uh, if you don't have her, then uh, yeah, she uh, she's like a you know last resort type of taunt unit for that. Uh, Mark T. Valenti, block effect is like the only thing I'd give her. I'll put her with Chandler, reaching. Um, uh, regular Valenti actually is good because of the resistance, you know, her, her passive where she like lowers the enemy's pierce rate based on her resistance can be really good. Um, I've actually used her with King uh, and uh, Green Arthur and stuff on uh, Swan Hadi and I was actually able to beat Floor 1, so that was really good. Uh, Green Arthur, Bob, universal in most PvE content. He has used in a lot of the content in the game. All Demonic Beast battles, he's good all uh farming he's good um he's you know like a lot of the content covered in the game even guild boss you use him in guild boss on some teams as well he's good he's good i think he's universal for a lot of the pve content elaine has niche use uh fairy allies basic stats i guess Helbrim also technically i will say Helbrim is good because he's another buffer and he is a guild boss unit so i will actually give him that 
Um, Elaine is in the same situation as Jenna because um, she's a backline. Um, she actually is, you know, for the demons that she's backline in, she actually does benefit more than just the, you know, the drops. Um, so, you know, you could give the the, the B tier there. Um, but to be, to be fair, I guess we'll just give her the same tier as a uh, thing. Will, I don't think it's PvE viable. Mono is... I don't know, man. It's it's hard to say. She's definitely, like, a niche. But uh, it's either C tier or B tier. I don't know, man. Like, farming is, like, the only thing I could think of. And, like, uh, yeah, that's about it. Probably C tier. Power Crypt. Uh, Sario. Um, no, Red Sario is better for PvE content, I think. So, probably just Power Crypt. As a link, he's okay. But even then, are you going to be applying the link often? Like, it's, it's hard to say, man. Uh, Zaneri, same situation as these two. Uh, Ragnarok, Merlin. Probably not, bro. Uh, Green Roxy, uh, you know, power crept in a lot of content, but she has niche use, man. And she has good CC. It's okay. Uh, Princess Elizabeth. Okay, Swole and Hottie, I'm going to value really high on this tier list, okay? Um, just letting you guys know from now. Uh, this Elizabeth, bro, is so good on Swole and Hottie. If you guys do not have this Elizabeth built with Holy Relic, so good in, in Swole and Hottie, man. Easily one of the best uh, units on the team because she's giving me the heals, she's giving me the cleanse, and pushing my ultimate. So good on Skull and Hottie, man. Has to be one of those types of characters. Green Esterosa, I will give the B tier because he's really good in Tower Trials as a cheese unit. Um, His backline still gives uh, debuff immunity on counter stand skills. That's really, really good in some content where you need to cheese. Frodrin is a PvP character, he's useless. Eren's not good. Uh, This Deanna is for PvP. Shuna not viable bro if if she had belmos if she had belmos with the cleanse thing maybe but she doesn't um rugal like farming if you're reaching bro but he's been power crept from farming so no um droll alt lock can work in some pve but i'd probably just put him in niche uh ayori is, is just not good Malasila is a niche or made for one specific content she's good in the deer she's good in swollen hottie she can clear swollen hottie it is possible um, you know, she, a lot, like, basically any PvE content where you want basic stats, she's free to give it to you. Uh, Merlin, I would say is niche as well, she's really good on Grey Demon. Um, is, is there, like, another thing she's good on, I guess? Like, I mean, her Power Strike's good on the bird. Like, I, I've tested her on the bird, she's okay. You know, her pass is really good on it. Um, you know, other than that, I mean, she's, she's just okay. Shin's really good. Uh, probably just, uh, you know, C. Probably just C or B tier, but he's not Power Crap, because he's still the best farmer in the game. So, I, I would say... Uh, you know, at least beats here. Uh, Thonar, you have to bring her on a backline for Belmos, or you can't beat it. So it has to be niche beats here. You have to bring her. Uh, Athena's for PvP. Jormungan has to be in the A tier because I put her as a Demonic Beast Battle unit. She automatically gets the A tier for me just for the fact that you need her to clear the deer. If you do not have her, you cannot clear the deer unless, you know, you have like Trader Melly, you have the Matrona, you have the one Esnor. You know what I'm saying? You get that like team going. That is a possibility as well. But, you know, these two units make uh, your lives a lot much more easier on those two Demonic Beast battles. Um, Green Moore, we will put him in the D tier, not viable. Uh, Zartros, you know, it's you put him either or. If you say he's the best in Belmos, sure, you could give him B tier. But he has, in my opinion, been power creeped out of, out of uh, you know, Belmos Demon. Because you could use... Uh, I don't know. Okay, it's hard to say. It's hard to say, man. I would say he's Power Crap personally, but you could. Okay, okay bro. We'll give him that. Because he does deal you a lot of damage. I would give Green Derrier the same slot as Zaratros. Um, because he uh she is a really good Belmos Demon character. Um she has the gauge reduction utility as well. Um so you know she has some type of viability. May probably actually C tier now that I think about it. Uh Hawk only viable during uh anniversary events for story, and that's about it. Uh Gila, no. Some Melee. Yeah, probably just like, I don't even know, man. Probably just C tier. He's power crypt. Best little Gother, I have to say, I do value this character a lot now because of that attack related. Probably B tier. Uh, because he's really good on Skull and Hottie, he also is good on Guild Boss, on some Guild Bosses. So, you know, he has like fairly good, a fairly good use on those types of things. Um, Green Gother, I would say, is either S tier universal in all types of PvE content or is an A tier because I don't think you can use him in all demonic beasts um yeah he's probably just a tier um but you can if you want to give the benefit of the doubt green goat there could be in the s tier as well um note for you same tier as festival king for the for that one team where is festival king right here 
uh, for the Super Awakening dungeon for the alt. Uh, Green Liz, you need her. Uh, you need her for the guaranteed rank up on Belmos. Uh, Green King has been power crept out of the Grey Demon. Uh, Ram is a good backline for Unknown Race, so for Guild Boss, sure, we could give her the uh, C tier or the B tier if you guys want to, you know, uh, you know, give that. Um, I would say because of her backline, it's okay. It's like it's kind of on the same line as like Merlin, where it's like you know you'd use it, but like only really for that one Guild Boss where you're using Unknown Race. Um, yeah, and then Hendrickson farming, I guess, but he's been power crept out of farming. He's not the greatest in farming. Uh, Fat King here, just not viable, bro. Um, Elizabeth. She's good. She is good. She has, and she was one of the first units to beat uh, Skull and Hottie. She was one of the first units to beat Skull and Hottie. She could, you could use Elizabeth on all the demons in the game. Um, Demonic Beast Battle, Scott, uh, Skull and Hottie, she beat it. Um, she has been able to beat the deer. She has been able to beat the bird. She is very good in a lot of the content in the game. She's just not the best in it. That's the only thing. She's good in a lot of it, but not the best. Uh, Mono, D tier probably. Lilia, uh, probably D tier as well. Um, Benny Maru, D tier. Halbrim, I'm reaching, but he has been power crept. C tier, you can use him in the deer as well. Um, there's a, probably a lot of units you could use in this tier that in, in the deer, but uh, just from my experience, man. Uh, Shin, not the greatest. He's more of like a PV YouTuber showcase unit. Uh, Red Monspeed, not the greatest either. Freyer has to go in the most universal and PV content. He can use him, you can use him anywhere, bro. You can use Freyer anywhere. Wherever he's usable in, he's usable. That's what I'm saying. Like, that Freyer is so good. He, I, Bro, putting him at the top of A tier, one of my most favorite units, and he's so good at all content in the game, that's PvE. And he's also usable in PvE, uh, PvP, by the way, his passive is completely universal. Um, yeah, and then uh, this Dian, probably here, uh, Easton there as well. Red Easton is a cleanse unit for solo OG Demon. <laughs> that's literally it I could give. Reaching, I'm, I'm really reaching with that one. Um, Red Jericho probably there. Ragnarok Bond, one of the best backlines in the game. I would put him with Zeldris. Um, you use him for a lot. But the thing is, if I'm putting Death Pierce all the way up here, Ragnarok Bond has to go there too. And, and I guess at that, no, but Zeldris... Yeah, these two, bro. These two are better than Zeldris. Because, you know, not every fight you're going to be able to apply debuffs. These these two, you can basically run on any team. Um, Matrona. Probably this tier, right? He's really good though, but you need uh, you need this uh, this type of taunt unit for uh you know like either deer or bird like you basically needed her. I think you can use her on the deer as well, or on Skull and Hottie as well. Um, but it, it was like a specific ass team. Um, let's see here. We got uh, Nunchuck Bond here. He's probably there. Uh, Will is probably there as well. Red Arthur still has his use, and he's still the best red buffer in the game. Uh, you know Red Roxy right there. Red Gallon backline passive, I guess. Uh, this Red Hawk is same as the other Hawk. Sigurd in I'm reaching, but like maybe some types of PvE content. Um Rem. He's been power crept out of uh, Crimson Demon, OG Demon. Trader Melly's just better. EO for some PvE content. He can he can definitely work. Sariel, because of the link and how good he is in a lot of the things he's good in, I would give him the A tier. He actually is really good in uh not school the hottie, uh deer and the bird, right? You're gonna use Sariel as a link on all content in the game so because of that alone i would give him the a tier and because he's good in two demonic beast battles like really good um so we will give him the a tier right there lost main uh yeah no bro training dungeon if you're reaching no dian uh a tier really good in all content in the game she has beaten skull and hottie she has beaten the deer she has beaten the bird she has beaten like basically all pve content guild boss she's really good as well um yeah we have to give her the a tier man uh, this Elizabeth is the same tier as, uh, where is that unit? Um, where is he? Uh, Green Deer Melly, right here. Uh, with Green Deer Melly and Jericho, uh, wherever they are. Yeah, uh, same tier. Uh, this Dian, nah, she's not really that great. This Brunhild, I think this Brunhild is PvE only, let me see. I think she's PvE only, or PvP only. Uh, Brun... Yeah, let me see. I think the uh, Red Brunhild... Okay, no, it's just in general. Okay, no, that's fair. Uh, sure. We'll give her a niche. Uh, this Dian... I don't even remember what she does, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's like Giant Allies damage dealt, but even then you don't use her because the other Dians are just better. So she's a power creep, probably. Uh, Elat has niche use in Guild Boss still. And also, um, you know, in Scold and Hottie actually as well. Uh, <laughs> somehow. 
Uh, so yeah, we have to give her that tier at the very least. Backline support is this Elizabeth right here. Um, I think it's only uh, PVE content for the Elizabeth. Let me see here. Let me see. I, okay. So it excludes deathmatch, but it's usable in everything else. Okay. So yeah, I would say at least the C tier then. Uh, this Elaine, uh, nope. Red King, nope. Uh, Glocks, probably not. Uh, this Slater has block effect, so sure. Benefit of the very, I'm reaching with that. Like, I, I, every character I gave just for block effect, I'm reaching with because some characters can't be debuffed, right? Um, Tarmiel has to go in the A tier, right? Um, that's crazy how the S tier is literally just only Trader Melly, bro. It's actually insane. Um, let's see here. Uh, you, Estrosa. Yeah, no. You'd have to reach with him. Uh, Terry. Terry is okay. Uh, even though his uh, passives are meant for PvP, he is good for, uh, you know, um, some final boss content where you need to, you know, have the bond team. And where, wherever the bond team is used, so I uh, will give him the niche at the very least. Uh, this melee sucks. Arthur is good as well. It's the same situation where if you use bond, then you probably would, uh, you know, bring uh, Arthur as well. Uh, Scotty... I would say is niche and has like a you know she's good in basically everything um skull and hottie floor one she's really good uh scotty can be used as well on uh deer and the bird as well if you do want you know the uh, support where you're lowering the attack and defense on the enemy it is actually pretty good guilt thunder goes here red elizabeth has her niche use being uh like the only content in the game she's usable in is that one dungeon where she lowers the hp of the enemy um uh, i will say is actually good too this one specifically because um, she gives you the revive in Tower Trials, and that is super important for Floor 2 of Tower Trials. Very usable unit. Um, Camilla, like, I don't know, man. Probably D tier. Red Fat King, uh, probably D tier as well. Uh, I don't think he really has a use past that. Like, Red Merlin, if you're reaching with the freeze, but bro, like, it's hard to say, man. I guess because of the freeze. Hauser for farming, sure farming you know he like you're bro like you're power crept out of farming like you're i don't know man because did i give shin here i did okay so you're sure okay sure you can go there power crept out of farming levi crimson demon power crept out of that i guess and then rimaru man that's the tier list guys let me know in the comment section below 37 minutes of recording oh my god uh you guys let me know what you think about this tier list man do you guys think this is accurate i can't believe my only s tier was a trader melee by the way i was thinking it was going to be a lot more or not a lot more but like at least a few more characters in trader melee but it, it ended up to being just trader melee so uh yeah man that's basically it let me know in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to be doing this as well for a PvP tier list uh, probably sometime this week or maybe next week. But I wanted to do the PvE tier list so you guys are, you guys know uh, which characters are viable and for what content in the game. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.